Bruh. So they got some of the goats in their best year. They got them each in a row. It looked like they put in early 90s versus late 90s versus 2000. So let's go ahead and get into it. The one that's going to come in last is B. Now I love Jay-Z, Nas, and DMX. DMX probably has one of the greatest rookie years of all time. DMX rookie year is so iconic, but it just overshadowed. Jay-Z in 97, that was not Jay-Z's best year. So that's why it's kind of it's kind of lacking. And even though Nas dropped Illmatic, Illmatic was not a big seller. You know what I'm saying? So iconic times, but Jay didn't have a good 97. I don't know why 97 they got Jay up here. So coming in next, I got A, man. I got A. It's, it's a tough one, but I'm going to go with the 2000s, man. 50 rookie year. It's possibly the greatest rookie year of all time. To me, it's out of DMX and 50 who got the greatest rookie year of all time. Dude, 800,000 records two weeks in a row in the club. What up, gangster? And let's also remember, he dropped Bad for Mercy with G on it that year. He went on Rock the Mic tour that year. One of the biggest concerts ever. Like, bruh, 50 was an animal in 2003. Then Lil Wayne, a million the first week. And here's another one. You got Eminem. Eminem did 1.7 million that week. Marshall Mathers in 2000. That's Eminem's best album. Very controversial. That's a great year. But, no. The greatest on this list right here is C, straight up. Because Snoop Dogg made hip-hop commercial in 93. Hip Snoop Dogg did 800,000 records in 93. He's the first rapper to ever sell that many records. It wasn't until Eminem broke that record. Snoop Dogg had the biggest debut of all time until Eminem broke it. A lot of people don't even know that. Doggy style Snoop Dogg was an icon. That was a different type of star. And don't even get me started on 96 Pop. The greatest year a rapper ever had. In my opinion, that's like Michael Jordan in 96. You feel me? Michael Jordan in 96, defensive player, MVP, all-star MVP, MVP, MVP. That's how Park was that year. All eyes on me, California love. He had that legendary live at the Blues concert. Park was an icon that year, man. 96 to me, Tupac, greatest rap year of all time. And he dropped Machiavelli, even though he passed. Unfortunately, he passed in 96 as well. But he did so much before he passed in that one year. This iconic. And movies! <laughs> Pop, forget about it, man. In 94, Biggie, ready to die. Biggie brought back the East Coast. Remember, the West Coast was running things. You had Pop, you had Dre, you had Snoop, you had Corrupt. The East Coast was dead at this time. Biggie is the East Coast savior at this time, bruh. Biggie brought back New York. Ready to die, iconic album. Everyday struggle, Junior Mafia. Bad, he brought them back. Lyrical monster. Yo, <laughs> it gotta be seen. 